let me just real quick, Zach, for the sake of posterity, people are probably wondering what did Elway say? He kind of punched back. Here's what he said. Uh, quote, while I was not planning, no, real quick, one last thing. Remember, this was a 55 or 50 plus page lawsuit filed in federal court on Tuesday. By end of business Tuesday, Joe Ellis, who still holds his position as CEO of the Broncos, uh, responded. Elway sat on it for a couple of days and then decided to respond. And I think, Zach, one of the reasons he responded with what everyone's about to hear is that Brian Flores has been making the rounds on national television, ESPN, different platforms, and uh, turning the screws. So here's what Elway said, quote, while I was not planning to respond publicly to the false and defamatory claims by Brian Flores, I could not be silent any longer with my character, integrity, and professionalism being attacked. I took Coach Flores very seriously as a candidate for our head coaching position in 2019 and enjoyed our three-and-a-half-hour interview with him. Along with the rest of our group, I was prepared, ready, and fully engaged during the entire interview as Brian shared his experience and vision for our team. It's unfortunate and shocking to learn for the first time this week that Brian felt differently about our interview with him. For Brian to make an assumption about my appearance and state of mind early that morning was subjective, hurtful, and just plain wrong. If I appeared, quote, disheveled, as he claimed, it was because we had flown during the middle of the night immediately following another interview in Denver, and we're going on a few hours sleep to meet the only window provided. I interviewed Brian in good faith, giving him the same consideration and opportunity as every other candidate for our head coaching position in 2019, closed quote, Zach. So he views what Flores has said about him as defamatory. He called it an attack on his character. 